What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Cisco and Mike podcast. Today, we got a special guest, round two of the podcast. She's an LPGA champ. And now, I don't know. I don't know if we should call her an actress or now we should add that to the resume. <laughs> but we, we got Lizette Salas. Hey, welcome, welcome. Thanks, guys. I'll tell you what, though. I fucking bought a new phone because of that commercial. So <laughs> it worked. AT&T, it worked. Yeah. Carriers? Oh, yeah. yeah I said, like, that's good. That was, there's a Mexican American there? Fuck yeah. I'm going to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no. Thanks for coming back. We thanks appreciate you being me. here. Like seeing you guys again. Nice upgrade. Oh, Love thank it. You. Love it. Everything's been an upgrade. I know it's been. You guys, you guys missing out. We wish we could show you guys the behind the scenes, but yeah, it's been quite a show already. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right. It's all Mike's fault. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you can tell we had a couple of shots. You know, as last time she graced us with a bottle, and we had to return the favor. Thank so, you. I know it's, it was it's, smooth. It's been I'm a year. The, yeah. It's been a year. So Quite a year. F- fill us in. <laughs> um, fill us in. Let me see. When's the last time? I mean, I was here, like, what, last summer? Almost, yeah. almost yeah. a year. That's right, because the AC broke. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not not as hot in here as last time. No, just been kind of doing the same, traveling, you know, chasing a little white golf ball around and living on airplanes, hotels, and uh, we're in our 12th season on the LPGA, and during the winter, I had several several shoots. I've uh, been really blessed with having a new sponsor, AT&T, who um, really jumped on board and loved my story, and and I was a, in a little commercial that grasped my whole journey in 30 seconds, and that was really, really awesome. And yeah, just trying to trying to stay healthy and and uh, enjoy life, and obviously win tournaments and compete. But yeah, it's been kind of the same, but not really. A little bit more action behind the scenes. But yeah, I've been really, really grateful for for what's been going on. Cool. And there's a new part of the journey right now because you know she was mentioning that she was injured. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's part of the, part of the gig, um, gone through this before, but you know, as I get older, <clears throat> recovery is a little slower and, uh, luckily I have, uh, a lot of people, you know, trying to help me and today's my first day with no crutches or a cane. So, um, and that little shot just helped a little bit. So uh, <laughs> yeah, no, but it's, um, you know, I could go down like a, a, a dark spiral, you know, because it's hard being injured and you want to play and you're seeing all your competitors out there. And um, but, you know, my health is first. And luckily, you know, my my parents, my family have been super helpful. And um, I wasn't going to miss my godson's first communion yesterday and I wasn't going to miss my niece's graduation. So I boy, I wake on those crutches with the cane, but I wasn't going to miss it. So, yeah, I'm happy to be here. And um, my back's feeling feeling a lot better. Cool. That's good. Yeah. You okay, Mike? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Mike's feeling good. <laughs> He's real good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, like last time we were talking about like all the highlights pretty much of your whole career and everything, right? Yeah. And now it, it, it tripped me out because you came in and you were talking about your injury and things like that. Like, how does that, doesn't that take a toll? Like, doesn't it make you feel at some point like, damn, like. Um. Yeah, it does. It does take a toll. You know, it's uh, in the in the peak of of this injury. You know, you're you're always thinking like, is this it? Is this is this the end? Um, or is this the beginning of the end? But luckily, I have have really positive people around me, and and I feel like I'm pretty strong as well to to you know get back and you know do the right treatments and things like that. But you know, at the same time, this is it's part of the gig. You know, you're bound to get hurt. Hopefully, not. Not severely, um, but I don't wish a back injury on anybody. It is rough. Like you just you just feel hopeless. And um, but luckily, I got little kiddos running around at the house. My, my little nephews who just keep the uh, the energy really positive. And um, but yeah, I don't wish that on anybody. And uh, yeah, it sucks. But the good thing is, you know, take advantage of spending time at home with my fam and get to be here with you guys. And um, but, yeah, we're just trying to take it one one day at a time. In golf, we say one shot at a time. So um, we'll, we'll be back out there soon. For we, sure. s- we say that here, too. One shot at a time. Yeah. No, you know what? I, I, I know what I know what you mean about the back injury, because I, I have a back injury from the Marine Corps. Yeah. And one thing I want to recommend you is the gun. 
I don't know if you have a gun. The, the massage oh. gun. Yeah. Not the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Not, not a shooting gun. Yeah, like yeah, a massage, massage gun. Massage gun, yeah. Um, I brought it here once and I think your mom loved it, huh? And like right away you, you guys are like, hey, fucking, your mom said, give me one. Yeah, it's And it's good. pretty dope. Uh, yeah. I, I usually set it on high and it's just fucking smashing into either my back. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take that shit back. <laughs> Smash it into my, <laughs> in my back back, okay, fuckers? <laughs> okay, girl, just agree. Keep going. <laughs> you guys get too fucking technical here, fuck. And then, then the, the, the words you but use do, smash well, into my back. Because it's my fucking back. Okay, you do? I do have one. Okay. You'd, be, you'd be amazed of how much, like, recovery crap I have to travel with. Like, suction cups. Like, the... Um, I've never had those. Those, oh, those are great. Those are good. It looks like they hurt. They do, but in, like, a really really good way i don't know about that it's all about like blood circulation so i i still have like so dark you have like spots. the moretas and shit the uh-huh. fuck that yeah there is sometimes that they do it a little too much and it's like yo like that shit hurts yeah, yeah? that yeah. does hurt okay. um, so it's all like depends on your pain tolerance but yeah i swear by those and but i don't know if this is like more disc or more muscular uh Ooh. issue so when it's muscle i know how to work that but when it's a disc and it's your actual spine, it gets a little... Are you taking pain, pain medications for them or... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Natural or me, uh, doctor uh, prescribed? Doctor prescribed. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah. You know what it's people cool. don't realize that like athletes, like it's a process for just maintaining yourself, you know, like working now, like the recovery after a after a tournament. After 32. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yeah. like we're over here complaining about our shit and, you know, like it's just basic things. So. Yeah. Like some yeah. athletes, I forgot who it is. I don't know. I think I think it's LeBron. He spends like a million or or a billion or something like that a year on his body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just to maintain. Well, I know Tom Brady uh, in his documentary. He talked about the the uh, procedures he does for his hand because you know how he's a quarterback and like he does some 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 shit with his hand. Yeah. Like, grip and just No, he well not just grip. Like <clears throat> he has a therapist that does. Um, some exercises. It's, it's just crazy the shit that you got to do. Yeah. His hand. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you got to grip the ball, right? But it, it's just crazy because different athletes have to work on different things. Mm-hmm. So You know, it's funny. We put up a thing, a, <clears throat> a poll, like a question poll. Yeah. And someone asked, like, do you still love golf? You know, and, it, and it's funny because now that it leads into it, like, yeah, you've played for so long. You've gone through injuries. Yeah. Like, is it still the same passion you had? That is a great question. Um, you know, sometimes I even have to ask myself that. Do you st- I mean, obviously I do. Um, I think as I, you know, progress through my career, obviously like my mentality changes, you know, you go through different things in life. And so you have to find different reasons why you love the game. Um, obviously how uh, winning helps, obviously like looking at your bank account helps. Um, but for me, when I, when I started my career, I loved it because I was wanting that opportunity to to prove myself to the world that I belonged out here. And obviously after 10 years, it's like, okay, I've, I've earned my place out here, but now I have to kind of like remind myself why, like going out and loving, loving hearing that sweet spot on on the club face or loving hearing my name on the first tee. You have to find those little, those little details that remind you of why you're out there for so long. Cause to be honest, it gets lonely. <clears throat> it gets lonely, especially like, cause I travel by myself uh, quite a bit. And so, um, yeah, you know, 12 years in, you know, that's why we have to, or I like to sit down with my team at the end of the year and, you know, talk about goals and, and, you know, there's still days when you question, like, why do I put my body and my mind through this? But at the same time, like every time, you know, I'm going to the commercial, every time I look at that, like, that's a reminder of like why I love this game, you know, to, to, to share those moments with my family and with my dad and, and to be that representation for, for younger Brown girls, like that, that is why I love this game. And, and, uh, you know, winning is, is one thing, but um, doing something that makes you feel good and knowing that you put all your heart and soul into it and you get that satisfaction is just indescribable. So, yeah. That's dope. <laughs> That's interesting. You know what I was thinking when you were saying that is that, like, I grew up playing basketball, right? I hated playing on the team. Mm-hmm. I hated playing basketball on the team. 
I hated practice and I hated games. But mm. I would get out of school, go to basketball practice. After practice, go do a little homework, and then I'd go to the park and play ball. Wow. But that's yeah. where I loved it. I loved playing ball, like, freely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when it was organized and I had more instruction, like, I didn't like it. Yeah. Like, and then games, like, I hated that moment, that whole buildup. Yeah. And then, but I really loved the game, and I had the passion for it. It's just certain moments that I didn't really, you know, care for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, leading up, leading up to a tournament, like it's all tense or it's just perspective, right? And how yeah. you, how you deal with, with certain situations. But I mean, I still get nervous to my stomach, um, the first day of a tournament, um, you know, cause you, you question, you go through your process and you wonder if you prepared enough. Um, you know, after the tournament, you're just like relieved cause you're just on for about five hours straight and yeah you have breaks but in between shots but you kind of just have to go back on focus mode for five hours and then you know you go back to recovery mode and then you're doing it all over again and it's uh yeah there's certain parts that i don't like you know obviously the traveling is, is rough you know mm -hmm. lugging or pulling three pieces of luggage by yourself and and um but it's it's being out in nature and, and seeing like little girls and their parents out on, out on the ropes, watching like my parents, my family. Um, again, yeah, golfers are a little nuts, <laughs> you know, to just, because you think about it, we lose more than we win. And what sure. brings us back is either, you know, hitting that sweet spot or just, you know, um, getting out of trouble and making a great shot. And you, that's in that addiction mode, that obsession mode. And yeah, there's obviously parts that I don't like. Um, I lo when I was younger, I loved to practice it, uh, getting me to practice was rough. That's when the bribing was like, Oh, <laughs> I'll take you to get an ice cream. Okay. I'm in, but it's like getting there. I was, I was set for like two, three hours. And then that's, that's, that was my time to enjoy it. Um, I loved, love competing, but man, after like 25, 25 years of playing, I'm excited after that tournament's done. Like, oh man, that was, and my body knows it too. It like mm. starts to feel it, everything, the emotion, the stress and everything. But yeah, it's a, it's a roller coaster for sure. It unwinds. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's why I take advantage of being at home and just unwinding and then go back out and do my job i'm telling you the 30s yeah. hit hard because now like i tell this guy like eight o'clock comes around and i start unwinding i get to bed i'm like that's <laughs> it like i need to unwind nothing will bother me and just start relaxing because i'm telling you day i don't know dog because i feel like the I'm, I'm 39 so fuck it whatever i'll say my age my 40s are going to be my new fucking 30s, though, so... Oh, I don't Good know. for you. That's how I'm going to feel. That. Well, that's Maybe mentally, you. physically, I might... I have a lot of work to do, but... I I've said this mentally. many... I've said this many times, so, like... 30s are the new 20s, 40s are the new 30s. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not the same generation it was, like, with yeah. our parents. Yeah. Because yeah. I said, when I used to look at my parents at my age, I'm like, damn, they look old. <laughs> they dressed old, they talk old. Yeah. They just give off old vibes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, yeah. It's weird. And like yeah. now I see like us and it's like, huh, like. That's because you know, we, we see each other, boo, fuck. Well, I see you, dog, right now living it up. And I'm like, <laughs> what I the fuck do you mean? I wasn't living it up. I was just <laughs> chilling. Enjoying life. Yeah. Good for you. You should. Yeah. Well, but okay. Back to golfing. Okay. <laughs> no, oh, no, miniature golf is not. No, I'm not, not going to ask miniature I'm not going to ask that question again, I'm guys. I've already asked it. Just kidding. I was told it wasn't a stupid question, then I told it was a stupid yeah. question. So, No, um, competition with, with, with males. How, how, does that, how is that? Because I know that um, obviously the, the, the male golf side of the house has always been dominating. <clears throat> yeah. So now that with the female, how, how, how is that dynamic? Um, I mean, it's an interesting dynamic. It's two completely different worlds. Um, I feel like women's golf is on an uprise, you know, with higher purses, more TV coverage, mm -hmm. more corporate sponsors. Um, we're definitely trying to, you know, uplift the younger generation just to keep it going. Um, but I feel like we still have a long ways to go. Um, Obviously, you know, we can live comfortably, but it's not like PGA Tour money where it's like 
do you really need that much? You know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, good for them. It, it, it is great that especially during the pandemic you know a lot of people were interested in golf and you know it's becoming more um, accessible whether you're male or female but there is to, there is still this um you know different level as far as you know prestige and money and um but i think we're changing that and um obviously like we we don't play with each other, which we might at the end of the year. We might do like a mixed team, which will definitely help, like the 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 women, and uh, <clears throat> and what also helps too is that these PGA pros, these PGA tour guys, are acknowledging our ability, and they are witnessing that we could play just as good as them. Obviously, we don't have the length or the power. That's just biology, um, but they know that we have the the talent to, the to make extraordinary shots to compete. And, uh, you know, I think women's golf is, is going in the right direction, but would I like to see it speed up a little bit faster, obviously, but I mean, I'm trying to do my part and, you know, to share our stories and to, you know, there's a lot of politics and a lot of different <clears throat> dynamics to that can go into that, but I feel like we're in a good place and, um, yeah. Do I wish I had, PGA tour like status, of course, but um again, golf has changed my life and uh you know, I could live comfortably and help my family as well. There's a yeah. big misconception there. Like everybody sees golf as a pastime or a pastime for a certain person, you know? Yeah. Like social classes only, you know? But yeah, I feel like it's changing a lot and they're putting they're highlighting it, like you said, especially in this last year. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that the new league that's kinda of controversial and all these people that hate it. Oh, and yeah, live that. golf and yeah, everything yeah. like that. Has they reached out to like start something for women as well? Um, you know, there's been there's been talk about it. Um, obviously, amongst the players, there is chat, and uh, you know, I think our tour is really just trying to get trying to get in front of the issue. Um, we, I don't think we can afford to have that separation that yeah. the PGA Tour has had. Um, at the same time, you know, we have asked even ourselves, would we go if there is a live or how would, you know, because again, going back, so we don't make the same as the PGA Tour does. But at the same time, we I just have to go back to what I can control and, and trying to win as many tournaments as possible. But um, there is talk about it. But again... I don't value talk. I value action. Let me so. ask you a question. Yeah. So um, you can mention, obviously, that, that there's not enough uh, with the women's and the men's. And it's a lot across the board, I think, with sports mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, why do you think that is? Why do you think women in sports make less than men in sports? And, and I just want to know your opinion. That is a great question. And I don't know how to answer that because... If we're speaking golf in general, it is the same amount of effort, same amount of hours that we put in, um, same grass that we play on. It is, I feel like it's more equal as you think. Same with women's soccer, same with women's tennis. They've done so much to increase their their benefits as as female athletes and you know it takes great courage to stand up to what they believe is right and you know what i like to see the same on the on the women's tour of of course but it it, it can't just be 12 players it's mm -hmm. a tour of 200 players so um it's definitely like a, a back and forth but do do we want to see more corporate sponsors? Do we want to see more more money in our bank accounts for for playing great golf? Obviously, um, but there's just there's just a lot of pull and tug, and we just got a uh, you know there there the management of our of our tour is being shifted a little bit. So um, I'm just hoping for the best, and and uh, they're actually asking me to be on the on the player board. So I don't know. Who well, maybe? You gotta implement your rule. What rule? Your shot, your shot just... rule. Your <laughs> shot rule. Yeah, you should implement that. Because <laughs> you, have you heard of live golf? No, I never. Heard so, of it. so it's like this. Uh, just to make it real quick, right? So they started their own, like the PGA Tour. They mm -hmm. started their own. I think it's like Middle Eastern or Saudis. 
yeah. created this company, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they're pulling a bunch of people, paying them more. Mm-hmm. And their whole thing is golf, but louder, mm-hmm. right? So the whole thing is to make it fun. So they have this thing where, I don't know if you've seen it, where they drink, a, they down a beer, chug a beer from a, from a shoe. <laughs> I have so, never seen that. No, I've seen, I've seen I was watching that shit, but I thought it was just a. Crazy I was shit. I was watching it yesterday, so like I went to go eat breakfast, and they had it on there to live golf, and that was their thing. That's how they promote it. Like they're making it so. Hold on. So this is a yeah. Saudi thing, like a like a Middle East Middle Eastern or Arab thing. They're the owners of the company. They're the owners golf. of this tour. Because yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like the Arabs have a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So even with the soccer community, like <clears throat> they offered, I think. Um, Mm-hmm. Who was it? Ibrahimovic when before he came to Galaxy. Galaxy. They offered him hundred million to play in the fucking Arab League. He declined it at that point. And it's like they have a lot of money, fool. So well, they come up with a lot of dumb well, shit. Well, they're paying golfers more money to and go that's what over I'm there. Saying, but it's is it in reality because of entertainment or is it because of like See, prestige? Yeah. Like, because what is it? You with, know what I'm saying? With them, there's this controversy with the whole lifting because they're saying that. <sighs> we're gonna get all political, but <laughs> they're saying that they're trying to like clean up their image of the image that they have with like against the Arabs? With women. yeah, with women and humanitarian, uh, you know, killing people like just for whatever. They're, so yeah. they're saying that they're using that sports to kind of clean up that aspect of it. But that image. I don't know about that shit, fool. Because think about the World Cup <laughs> last last year, mm-hmm. the protests with Iran. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, Iran, because I call it Iran, right? Look at what happened, fool. All the protesters that were protesting the women's rights shit in the World Cup, they're saying that if you if, if they went back to the country, they were getting killed. So are All they the really athletes. doing that shit? Or are they just covering it up? Or are they making that's, a scene? That's the controversy. Okay. That is the $1 million question. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But they are trying to so. make, they are trying to change the narrative of what golf is, trying to make it funner, I guess you can say. Yeah, to make it like a better experience for both player and mm-hmm. spectator. <coughs> gotcha. Um, obviously, PG, the PGA Tour has rights everywhere, so they're kind of, you know, kind of figuring their their way into, you know, mainstream how to connect with, you know, people all across the world. But, you know, we're seeing players from that tour still being able to play in our majors, even win. We just saw Brooks Kepka win the PGA Tour Championship, and he's a live tour player. So it it creates a lot of question, curiosity. Um, Is the PGA like the worldwide yeah. organization? It's the main, yeah, the big okay. top Kind of like, like the FIFA. Tour. Yeah. Well, yeah. the Because yeah. I know soccer, so that's why I'm comparing mm-hmm. it. Okay. Yeah. So the, the live's really trying to... Let me ask a question. Mm-hmm. Does the PGA... Uh, obviously, I'm just going off of what you know. Does the PGA like ban or like, for example, in FIFA, countries that don't abide by FIFA rules, whether it's like uh, for doing something that they're not supposed to be doing as a country, mm-hmm. do they get banned? Like, do, do countries get banned from playing in PGA in either women's or men's uh, if they're not abiding by like uh, individuals? Get yeah, Individ- so the the players that have left the P- that left or that abandoned their membership to go to live, they are no longer allowed to come back. Okay, um, they're still debating whether that can happen, you know, down the road or whatever. Um, but as of now, they're not allowed to play in, in both regular, tournaments. yeah, both leagues. Gotcha. Right? Um, they are now allowed to play in the majors, which is four big tournaments. Um, like they're allowed to come back to the masters. They're allowed to come back to the PGA championship, British open, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it was a big, big controversy, um, whether their memberships are going to be, and here's the thing, if that was to happen with the LPGA tour, like the LPGA tour cannot sustain, it will not survive if that happens. So if we definitely need to get in some sort of conversation with them before any like us versus them begins. Got to get so. ahead of the problem before it becomes one. Exactly. Are players bound to one league? Like, like, do they have contracts? No, we don't have contracts. Like, we're independent contractors, and so and you can we say, could... "Fuck it, I'm going to play over here." Yeah, like I, you, I you... get and I get to choose like what tour. If I want to go play European tour, that's that's on my end. Or if I want to go play like Japanese tour, that's my. So decision. technically, you could be part of both, then, right? Uh, in a sense, yeah, there we have players that are members of both European and LPGA, but it's tough, you know, going back and forth yeah. with our schedule. So I don't know. 
Yeah, because I see you I always just... talking about you're always flying out or mm-hmm. or always on the road. And yeah. so I'm like, fuck. I just stay here. <laughs> like, U.S. <laughs> bound. That's, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you were in a tournament recently or in, within this last year yeah. where it was raining, right? It was like oh, man, fucking pouring. A lot. Um, I think you're talking about Singapore. I think so. Yeah, Singapore. Yeah. Uh, so that was a two-week stretch out in Asia, and Singapore was probably the wettest I have ever experienced. We got, what, eight inches Damn. in, like, one day, <laughs> and we were still able to, you know, we still have to, like, come off the golf course. I was drenched. I can't play so in the rain So you still have to play. Well, as long as, as long as the course is playable. So as long as there's no water lifting from like from the from yeah. the ground, and there's no uh, thunder or lightning, then we can still play. Gotcha. Um, but as soon as it starts raining in Singapore, you know lightning and thunder is coming. So um, we were we were taken out of there a few times, but that golf course drains extremely well. So we were able to finish four rounds and uh not play on a monday which is great have you ever just played in a fucking in the rain where you're like fuck it i'm just gonna i can't see i can't do shit i'm just oh, gonna yeah. fucking i'm yeah. just gonna do whatever i'm gonna have so, fun <laughs> does the strategy uh, not change? have fun that is not <laughs> fun yeah no um i played in scotland in 20 2015 2016 and it was probably like the toughest weather conditions i've ever played and it was a british open so you know big big tournament and the water i felt like was coming sideways like you had to walk with the umbrella right in front of you and i'm just like let me get out of here i think i was i thought i was gonna miss the cut so i i was like whatever and i was coming down the last hole and i was like i don't care i'm gonna miss the cut anyway so i hit it it goes in (laughs) my dad is losing my dad is losing it and they're like, you made the cut. And I'm like, oh, God. I have to play two more days in this? You were like, fuck. I just wanted to fuck, I wanted to fuck up on purpose. Yeah. No, not fuck up on purpose. I just well, wanted to get out of here. Yeah, exactly. You know, I was just like, it but is what it is. But you ended up staying there for two more days. I ended up staying there for like three more days. Yeah. I'm like, oh, great. But weather lightened up. It is not fun to play. Yeah. In- no, the, the only reason I ask is when I was in the military, we shot. We, did, we went to the rifle range uh-huh. in, during that typhoon. Oh, for you can't see shit, dog. I remember we were looking at the at the target. I just started. <laughs> so, I didn't give a fuck. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> yeah. So here's a stupid question. What's, the, what's, okay. what's your stupid so, question? So in, in shooting, <laughs> I got an expert. Uh, oh, okay. no, Obviously, in shooting, mm-hmm. weather affects a lot, right? Oh, weather affects a lot. Wind. What about in golf? Mm-hmm. Like, what's the strategy? Does the whole strategy go out the window? Uh, not go out the window. Your strategy has to adjust depending on the oh, environment you're in. Obviously, like. For you never played Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah, fool, I know it says the wind direction. Flag and shit yeah, fool, but we're talking start, about rain, fool. Like well, if it's hot and um, does the altitude, ball expand? Uh, I don't know about that much. I don't know about that much. Getting into physics, I'm just saying. So if it's hot it. and you're higher altitude, um, the ball will travel travel farther. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's cold rainy you're more um sea level the ball tends to travel shorter um uh, uh, like if it's foggy the you know it's dense um wind Who, who's responsible for knowing all this stats my is, caddy. It, is it you or your caddy my caddy gotcha just see that yeah. with a calculator and all these equations are coming out yeah so okay. you're like we obviously think about these weather conditions like the day before. Okay. So going into your warm up, you're instead of thinking like, why is the ball going farther? You already know it's cold. You're technically still warming up, so it's not a hundred percent. And then um, weather, wind direction, all that stuff. You have to take that into effect. So if you go to a, um, a professional tournament and you see all these like orange screens behind the player on the yeah. range. It's uh, it's called a track man. So it it does all the math for you, and you just have to plug in like the altitude, the weather, and it goes and does the actual like numbers for you, so oh, that damn. you could. Got a kind question? Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a light bulb. I got well, this is not a stupid question. Damn. I hope. Okay, so alligators. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, so we've we've talked about in the last uh, year. I think we've had people from the. Uh, the science community or the mm-hmm. uh, uh, how does AI affect golfing? Like you were saying, you have these little things that calculate everything for you. Mm-hmm. 
do you see a future in AI playing a factor in the way you guys golf, like in the way you guys calculate shit in accordance to your caddy? Because I know you say you have a caddy that does that for you. But um, hey, does AI, has, has that been in talks? Or how does that affect you guys? I mean... That's a good question, by the way. That is a really good question. I think, um, I mean, especially when you're doing, like, from a manufacturer standpoint, like, they use robots to, like, do the swing for you, test certain golf clubs, test balls. But, but, but like, it, playing? As, yeah, you as an actual player. Oh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. You don't, I don't think so? I don't think so. No, I think, I think golf is, like, so traditional and I feel like there's organizations that will just like shut that down real quick. So it's kind of like cheating. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so it's kind of yeah. like saying Cisco doesn't know shit about golf. Let, let me put it to you this way: he... we can't even put a level like the you know to build stuff a level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On the greens anymore because it's considered an advantage. Mm. We can't even do that. We can't put any gadgets like on the golf course. It's all like we don't even have. A map of the greens to tell us like how how severe the slopes are because to us like this game is more of an art like reading greens and, gotcha. and visualizing is more of an art and it's more of a like an ability that you should okay. have so i have no i i don't think it's ever going to be a factor if it is it'll be past my days for sure okay yeah. <laughs> i didn't even That's know you guys could use though. levels Huh? I you didn't can. even know they You'd could use levels. You'd be surprised how many how many different gadgets there are just to bring out a measuring out. tape and shit. Pretty much, yeah. And, and, and the only reason I ask, obviously, is because you brought it up about the measuring the orange. Oh yeah, yeah. The, but uh-huh. obviously, I played like I, I don't really. I'm not gonna say I don't like golf because I can say that about a sport that I've never mm-hmm. really played. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, I like Tiger Woods PGA Tour. <laughs> That's just fun, especially when yeah. you're playing with your brothers and you're competing against them. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know, I know it's nothing compared to real life, but in the game, and I'm pretty sure you've played it, just calculations, it tells you like the fucking terrain. So yeah. I'm sure that somebody's thought about, let's incorporate this in, in real golf. Like let's incorporate it in, in, in golfers mm-hmm. fucking having an app, especially now with technology, having an app that will tell them, fuck, okay, the, the terrain is this way, whatever. I got to put this way or whatever the fuck. Yeah, no. I think that's that'll be that'll be, us, that'd be cheating. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but there is a lot of simulation stuff, right? You guys do, right? Like where yeah, there's simulation VRs. like for training and and like especially like this last winter how it was so freaking wet in California. I had to hop on, you know, a couple simulators just to make sure like my my numbers were were good like um you know, I was getting the right yardages and things like that and getting my reps in. But yeah, to be outside in the, in the rain, um that's the only simulation that we you know and testing things like that that we you know what i had I have another question and it's going to redeem myself from the last stupid question the last one. top golf no this was in miami but i've never gone um all right last time i asked you a stupid question about mini golfing if that if that helps you guys in your putting game. Uh-huh. Okay. So I see people that do the, the I don't know what it's called, because, again, I'm not a golfer, but they have a screen, and then they fucking they tee off against the screen. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Uh-huh. The simulator. Okay. The simulator. The uh-huh. simulator. Okay. Last time you made fun of me because of my mini golf question, so how does that really help you if it's just the fucking screen that you hit against? How does it really actually simulate where it's going to land, like, in real life? Um, one, that's a good question. Two, oh, okay. I got a good question, guys, because that's always two, a stupid question. it doesn't automatically have the same – obviously, it's not the same uh-huh. environment that you're in. It's giving, it's giving you, like, the most perfect – is it because golf, of, se- golf setup? Gotcha. Is like, it because we're like where you hit the fucking screen and the way it was hit, or? Well, the trajectory of your of the ball obviously is is a cause of the way you hit it. Like mm-hmm. if you if you hit a shank, it's gonna show. Like okay. if you're what's a, a shank, by the way? A shank is a really bad shot where okay. it, it goes like just straight right. Because to me, a shank is like a you know you're shanking somebody. <laughs> that shanking. happens to me at the guard, at the driving range. That clink, clink. I made a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the yeah, shank so, is like, if you're yeah, talking to me about. Yeah, it's bad in golf. Okay, the shank gotcha. is bad. So it's like Dig shaking somebody, right but in golf. Okay, cool. It's bad too. For, yeah. Right. You're you, you shaking somebody there in is, golf. There is no good shank. No good there shank. There is analogies. no good shank. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the the I mean, there's positives of being on a simulator. Um, for me, it's showing me like more of like swing angles. There's a lot of math that goes into um, you know your golf swing or whatever. But I personally don't like I don't like practicing on a simulator because it's you're not getting the same effect of being outside and different factors, the wind, blah blah blah. The simulator is not going to give you that. The simulator is not going to give you you know. Um, like a funky lie, like where the ball's above your feet, below your feet, all that stuff. Um, so it's technically just to kind of refresh your, I don't know, it's just like a Emotion? like a little band aid, you know, just gotcha. to like okay. help you get your reps in. Um, people love it. I don't. I like to be outside and yeah. Do do the balls have anything in them, like to like kind of tell you the power? The um, not necessarily. It um, it's you just have to use yeah. like nice golf balls to get like the most accurate um result from it i yeah. just got an Damn, idea Mike. Doug. what yeah, make like a good question today because i had to redeem drink myself more, from the last time drink more <laughs> <laughs> like drink more fool <laughs> it opens up your mind i said we haven't been a top golf though we gotta go i've never been i've never been golfing Let's other than go. Mitch golfing but i do want to go okay. because i heard it's fun i heard uh I've never we been. We have a, to go to the first level, though. I feel like if Mike range? gets a few drinks in him, he might like fall Minigons? over in like the the net. You know how it's done. Like, we're just going to the bottom tier, though. Yeah, the bottom tier. <laughs> I think I could beat you guys. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm getting cocky right now. Yeah, I'm not. That. Would you quick off kidding. if I beat you? No. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe like so. Okay. He ends my career. So I, I end up being a top golfer. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but um, <laughs> fuck, I was gonna say something. You just threw me off. So. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm bringing the. Oh, I'm bringing the. I've, uh, I've, I've, I've never no been. I've never been. Uh, you want some more? You want a refill? I do. Okay, I got I you. I, I've never been on the like out in the like I've been on a driving range, but I never been out on the golf course. Oh, well, I invited you. Remember? I know we gotta go. But everybody that I know that goes, yeah, all they talk about is that they just drink. Yeah, that's what Jeez, it is for them. <laughs> like it's just a lot. What do you want with it? A squirt. <laughs> that's what everybody just. It, you asked me to I know, and that's a, my bad. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, give us the guy that's already had a couple of they shots. They just drink them. and, um, yeah, that's more of like the social aspect of playing yeah. golf. I feel like that's why a lot of a lot of people, a lot of guys like it. Is to go out and hang out with your buddies and and um, were you guys the one that asked me when's the last time? Oh no, someone asked me when's the last time you played golf for fun. And I was so like, I was gonna ask you right now. That like, is a great question. Can you even have a social golf game? Yeah, I can. I can. Um, it's probably in the between the months of December <laughs> and February. <laughs> is that before really? Maybe you... just December. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, I mean, I I remember maybe 2019. I, you know, I had a, a group of friends that I would play with and, you know, they, they like to drink and they, they got me into uh, Patron and orange juice and, you know, just kind of remind me of, of how golf can be fun again, instead of being like so intense and, and, um, you know, just to lighten things up. And um, I think it, it's fun when you have a group of friends or a group of guys or girls that just enjoy each other's company and, don't don't make a fool out of themselves or like just have a good time i mean yeah. I, I think golf is a is a great way of doing that i mean my coach likes to have a, a few drinks out there and and uh so yeah that's hard mm -hmm. i get competitive even if we're just like even I if mean, it's just homies like we're just chilling like we'll start playing whatever it is you know let's yeah. just say we're playing pool and shit it's like all right we, we're not gonna play for fun it's like all right let's play for it Drinks, so let's play for five bucks. And for if you any, play, any it, little loteria, though, you can't play that shit for fun. Yeah, but <laughs> you gotta play that shit yeah. for money, man. Right? You know what I mean? But, like, but, but if you play golf fool, like you play poker fool, see, even like, see, he's talking shit right now. Because so I'm, like, like, I'm a better oh, poker player. Poker. I'm a better oh, poker player. Uh oh. Ebole. I'm a better poker Let's player. These fools know it. So. My friend just says, hey, no angries. Like, just be cool. It's okay. You know, families break up because of shit like that. <laughs> That it's true. true like yeah. you know, you know how many families true. like break up for little stupid things yeah, well, yeah. 
Let me ask you a question, and this is probably a stupid question, so I'm going to ask it, because i got to redeem myself from the last one. You already did, but okay. No, no, ahead. I already redeemed myself oh, from okay. not stupid so yeah, questions. Room this, for... this is a stupid question. Oh, okay. Have you ever flipped over on a... On a... <laughs> On the uh, <laughs> no, no, you guys no. never really like quick and shit. Those are low to the ground, fuck. Huh? Really, have I ever flipped a golf cart? Yeah, a golf cart, yeah. No, 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 I don't get no like wheelies, that. no nothing. No shit. Or, or no. look at wheelies, like I don't think they're powerful enough to oh, like, you mean like, um, or, or, donuts. or uh, donuts, yeah. Mm, I did it by we did it by accident. It was when well, we weren't drinking, I was in college and it was just wet. Was it fun? And we went, no, it was terrifying, really. Yes, no, you holding on to shit, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm, just, I'm, just, I, I'm trying to bring the fun in golf. You know what I'm saying? I've <laughs> never been to a, a golf tournament or anything, but I've seen them on TV. Yeah. Not gonna lie, not my favorite shit. Like, it's okay. No, and not only because either. I'm not just like, <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? You know, it's like NASCAR. I'm sure NASCAR races are badass. Pero no puedo mirarlas, and I'm just like. I assure you, if fuck? you come to one of my tournaments and have a drink in your hand, have a nice little walk, and you know, what is your next tournament here? Uh, next year. <laughs> okay, so next in year in LA, yeah. Okay, so um, but I'm a loud guy, so am I gonna be loud? Okay. You can be loud after she hits the ball. Though. After I okay. hit the ball, okay. yeah, and then not She'll be like, shut like... the fuck up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. That's a stupid ass question. Are you drinking I can take again? You anywhere. <laughs> can I ask you as questions? <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> no, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. No, you're fine. But, but yeah, you know, I think it's because it's so traditional, like. I, I wanted to ask you, now that you're on the board, and you know you're going to be on the board? What board? Would you say you're going to be on oh, the board of a, a PG? Mm, maybe, potentially. Okay, potentially. Yeah, yeah. Would you propose, like, any changes to, like, I don't know, get more involved with, like, people or, like, you mean what like... would be that one thing you would want to be, like, we really need to talk about this? Besides, obviously, the pay and everything going on. Like, what would I want to change? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, what would you want to bring to the game that would, like, you know, obviously, there's... I don't know how it is. Is there a lot of interaction with people or? You mean like during during competition? Mm -hmm. um, during a tournament? No, because again, that could that could be considered advice if you had interaction with like outside people. Mm. And then um, again, that could be an advantage. It's very like traditional in that sense. Um, and then obviously like the ideal, the, the this... Um, idea of like gambling so True. like it's it's getting higher in mm. golf yeah. so if we were to like interact with like um the spectators more that would just kind of not go with our i guess i don't know traditional schedule i don't know what you want to call it but yeah, yeah. i mean so would i like to see inside? us more i mean obviously like i would say hi and like all yeah. this stuff but i wouldn't have like a so I wouldn't have like, like a an interaction, detailed... like a conversation. Not that lasted more than 30 seconds, you know? Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So once you're inside, like, for example, because when I see it on TV. Once you're tee off? Well, yeah. well when you're inside, though, they have them, like, the, the spectators are separated, right? Yeah. Roped off. You, yeah. Can't, you can't fucking interact. You can't go in and out. It's like you're here and you're here for a purpose. I can go out if, like, my ball is out there, but, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, but, but, but with the with the crowd, you got to be like, fuck that. Like, you're, you're yeah, here on game bit. mode, and that's it. Yeah, a little bit. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got to add so. a DJ to that shit or something. You know what I would like to see? I would like to see just, like... I mean, the Live Tour has it. It has, like, music on the range and things like that. I mean, I would love, like, a walk-up song, you know, when they introduce Hey, that'd be sick, team. actually, huh? What would be your walk-up Okay, hold on. You guys would know. What would be your walk-up song? Like, what, what would you come out to? La Boda La Celebra. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Boda with the coche. Ah, oh, yeah. Karim, Karim, uh -huh. if you're listening to this... <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get her started. Huh? I know. So that's where Damn. we're going out. Paso concert. He's gonna be there. Yeah. We're oh, you're in September. Concert? He's gonna be there. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, I, thought sure. gonna, I thought you were golfing, and, but you're no, going to this actual going concert. To concert in September nice. again. We're doing a redo of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Karim. <laughs> Holla at you, girl. <laughs> no, but but yeah, you should. I mean, yeah, I think that would be dope. Like you said, having a walk up song, even that just changes everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, and just like, you know, kind of show our personality a little bit more. Um, I would like to see. I mean, I would probably change like our social media approach. It's just very. 
like I said, we I, I want to see more of our personalities. You mm-hmm. know, I don't know if you guys saw, like, the PGA Tour has that Netflix show, like, the behind the scenes of, like, what really goes on. I think, uh, I think the general public doesn't quite grasp what we have to go through on a day-to-day basis. And, you know, yeah, the, the PJ tour, they go through it too, but most of them have like their wives and their family. Cause they're able to, most of us are like a one woman show out there and it's, it shit gets rough sometimes. And I think, uh, kind of grasping our personality mi- mixed with the hardships of what we really have to go through just to be a professional athlete. Um, I'd like to use that and project it to the rest of the world and have golf be more appreciative. That's interesting because mm-hmm. it's true. I never, you never see like the personalities outside of golf. No, you, people think we're just robots. Uh, yeah, I think honestly, like, I think you've been the first one and I think because we know you, mm-hmm. like with the at t commercial and other things you've been doing in interviews, but yeah, it's rare to see like someone's personality that's a golfer, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like even Tiger Woods, what do you know? Well, Besides the drama that he had in the scandals, <laughs> you don't know shit. I was going to say, Tiger Woods is an exception. For yeah. Because... yeah, but if you look at everybody else that's going on right now, like, you know, like, you really don't know anything outside of them with golf. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's because they're more reserved, right? Like, as, as actual. I, maybe they're just, it's like she said, it's the actual golf because it's so traditional. Like, they have this standard you have to. Yeah, it's like this, per, this uh, persona we have to, you know, keep up, you know, and. I respect it, but at the same time, like, I, I'm, that's not me. How do you deal with that? How do I deal with what? With what? With having to keep up with that persona? I mean, I do to a certain extent, but I don't want to lose my identity or my personality in, in the process. Um, so like I said, with like the walk up song, if it's La Boda with La Coche, they'll be like, imagine all these like people, specters like, oh my God, what is this? It's like. Well, she has a Mexican background. She yeah. loves Karin Leon. Like, it's yeah, just, yeah. it sparks, like, oh, where where does that come from? Um, or, like, different players would have different songs and, or just things like that. Or showing the behind the scenes on the recovery process of how they train, um, their their relationships with their coaches and things like that. It just gives, gives us more depth and credibility to... Um, you know, to be out there and performing at the highest level of women's golf. So, because even, even promos, you know, like I seen some of the promos, the same people. Yeah, <laughs> the same people, and it's very like just very eh. normal. You know, so like a, so like a twenty four seven of golf. There is a channel. There's a golf channel. No, no. Like a twenty four seven meaning like you know how the boxing fights. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. or, they have like yeah. those thirty mm-hmm. minute like sessions. Of, or mm-hmm. you know how like they like sometimes in the NFL they have oh yeah whatever like uh the comment, the, 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 the yeah little, from University of Alabama you know whatever oh, yeah, it is yeah, yeah. certain uh-huh. thing. The, the thirty minute behind the scenes yeah. kind of like a behind the scenes I can't remember what it was for uh for football they have it for baseball but it's um like I said it's like a little documentary kind of yeah. like it says it introduces the player yeah and it gives it makes them a person. Yeah. Rather than relatable. just a golfer. Exactly. Yeah, and it makes them relatable. Damn, Again, I have a stupid question. Where do we get where do we get the funding for that? Where where where's that and on our priority list? You know what I mean? Yeah, what's yeah. what's your tactic? So me not being on the board and not being like that middle person between the you know, the the commissioner or or the board of directors to the players, I don't really have that knowledge. So um Everyone's like, "Was well, that when are you gonna be on the board?" I'm like, Ooh. "I don't like drama." <laughs> yeah, I like to stay in my bubble, but at the same time, like, I feel like I owe that to the sport and to my my peers to at least know what what's going on behind the scenes. So yeah, but I think you're one of the biggest advocates because you're doing a lot of things behind the scenes too. Like you said, this last year you were doing a lot more. Yeah, outside I'm of the doing course, a lot of work. Yeah, I feel like. Um, you know, I'm doing a lot of work as far as, you know, the diversity and inclusion with, with younger kids and, and getting more uh, black and brown uh, kids from neighborhoods that wouldn't necessarily be interested in golf, you know, have that spark of interest. Um, but again, that goes to my background and what I, what I, um, what's in my, you know, my DNA of giving back and, um, you know, but then again, that's just me and that's, 
200, whoops, 200 uh, girls on the tour. So I feel like if everyone were to do that in their own communities, we would make a, a greater impact. And obviously we have big tours like elevating youth golf. Um, but again, we need more of that. Mm -hmm. You just gave a reason why you should be on the board. Yeah. <laughs> you just convinced Shots. <laughs> you just convinced everybody why yeah. you should be on that yeah. no, thanks guys hey, uh, I got yeah. a stupid question I, it's I, my I, turn I, 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 is it, more is, stupid questions is it cause I, we're, I've been asking stupid questions because no, no, we're, no, no, we're no. talking about the brown and black community right okay. mm -hmm. is there a dress code to what you guys can wear um Cause, yes because imagine a fool out there with just high socks i would have been fucking your girls can wear high socks oh you can yeah okay like sock sock check sock like yeah. the, oh shit sock check you know i'm just yeah. wondering because yeah. um obviously like the length of of shorts skirts um can't wear t-shirts obviously there i will say the level of uh fashion in women's golf has gone better uh, girls are able to express more of their personalities, things like that. Um, I think right now it's more of like how to combine streetwear to the golf course, but not breaking the rules. Like we see joggers. We're now seeing hoodies out there, oh, which really? I'm a big fan of. I love hoodies cool. and all that stuff. That I think that's why we're the golf world is trying to make it more relatable to like the to all sorts of life, not just the the preppy person with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they wear the collared shirts, the more traditional style. But with the younger crowd, we're we're seeing a lot more um, a lot more variation in what's allowed on the golf course. And I think that's also what's bringing like the bucket hats are coming back. Um, we're seeing a lot more people interested in playing golf because the amount of variety and style, diversity, and diversity. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta get myself the Jordans. What? I saw some Jordans yesterday. A golfer, had some, a golfer has some Jordans on. Yeah. Let, uh, let me yeah. ask a question. <laughs> let me ask a question. Yeah, Nike you approaches test? you. Nike? Nike says, hey, hey. you got some Cortez golfing <laughs> shoes. You know what? I actually, saw, I actually saw this clip on one of your videos. And you guys talked about Cortez. I... <laughs> hey. He just got a pair too, though. Shut yeah. You know, they do make. A golf shoe. Cortez makes Cortez? a golf shoe. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. I might just get into golfing then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just a shoe. You got to wear the um, soft one. I, I like the shoe. I cannot pull it off. Why? Um, I don't know. It, it makes my foot look smaller than what it already is. Really? Yeah. I mean, I like it, but with the clothing company that I have, it's very traditional. So if I put traditional, traditional, and like, bam, there's a Cortez shoe, I feel like it, I wouldn't give it, I wouldn't give it the, the respect it needed to wear the, the Cortez okay. golf shoe. And plus I have a, I have a foot joy golf sponsor, so I have to wear, gotcha. yeah, it depends See, how much they're paying me though. Well, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> tell them to customize and make it like a Volta style. Yeah. Ooh. What no, if, but then my sock tan would be like way too high. Okay, what about what? What if Karin said, "Hey, baby girl," I don't think Karin said any. Karin doesn't talk like that. That person. <laughs> hey, baby girl. I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, baby girl. <laughs> I really hope. <laughs> He's like, hell yeah, talk to me I, like I break, that. She's like, I break all the rules. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. That's okay. Gotta bring that up. We gotta no, bring it out. I I would love to. Um, I would love to bring more of that Chicano culture style into golf. I'm I'm trying to, but it's like you got to work around the rules. I got to work work around my my uh, my boundaries or and like my yeah right? my sponsorships. So I mean, if if they make a a shirt with like a Chicano pattern on it or something, obviously I would rock it, huh? <laughs> a flannel. A flannel. There you go. The Lizette Salas collection. <laughs> It'd be out. like a winter collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I can't wear the high socks, though. I just Why? have Because I have short legs. And so, like, you would only see, like, this much of my leg if I had the high socks and a skirt. Hey, but skirt. you look down, though. Yeah. I mean, you'd be, I, you'd be I'd a, totally be a down as <laughs> You'd be a down as home, girl. <laughs> do I have to do, like, the dark lip, too? Shoot. Do I have to do No, all I just got to do the lip liner. The dark lip liner? With yeah. The, dang. And, and the hoops. And the big old, the big old hoops. Do I have to play with hoops? 
chingos. Ah, instead of a know. visor, the bandana? Yeah. ATT <laughs> in the front of it? <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> we, like, we're gonna cut this shit. Cut this shit right this contract. <laughs> like, ASAP. No, well, I mean there's there's things that I want to implement that that represent me, not necessarily like just cookie cutter. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, jewelry or tattoos or whatever you whatever you want to call it, but yeah, I I just I really don't want to be like a cookie cutter out there. I think that's what they need. They need the like the bad the bad girl of golf. <sighs> and yes. the nickname they even that song like bad girl? Yet Salas, the bad girl of golf. The sad girl. I'm a no. <laughs> no, bad girl. Like, you just flipping off, you're just flipping yeah, off the okay. camera, you know like Oh jeez. No, nah, but yeah, I think I don't know like I I said I want to get she into She has golf. a teardrop on her eye from the <laughs> last tournament. She should have won it. <laughs> you, you, every time you get, every time you win a tournament, you get a teardrop. No wow. manches, man. you, Instead of killing fools, no. you kill every tournament. Every tournament I won, just a teardrop yeah, right it's here. Because oh. I killed it. Wow. I killed that tournament, dog. Ah. <laughs> nah, but <That's> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Okay, that would be stupid. Yeah, that would be stupid. That's a stupid comment. (laughs) Then she gets shot in the street for real and shit. I'll wear blue or red next. Wait, don't you guys get like those uh, those jackets? What color jackets are they? Oh, the mask. You're talking about the masters, the green ones? Yeah, well, whatever. Are they green? Where you from, Mesa? Where you from? And where you wearing green? You guys get robes? robes? If we win like one major, we get. We get a robe. Oh shit! Like, what do you mean a, a robe? robe? Like a, like a shower robe? robe? Like a shower robe? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Is that for females only, or? Well, it's for one of our majors. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. But you guys don't have like a master's green jacket thing? No, we don't get, we don't get like a blazer or like a jacket of any sort. And that's got to change. See, exactly. That's got to change right there. I know. Because that's that's like supposedly the biggest tournament for for PGA <laughs> tour. And that's the only reason I asked that's because... Our, that's our version, though. Like, the robe. Because we jump... Yeah, I know. It's the same face I make. Like, I can yeah. show this shit off. I'm going to show like, off. jump you. into a pond after we win the tournament, and then we get the robe. So, uh, yeah. What if you don't? What if you don't jump in? Yeah. Then you don't win, fool. I mean, you're like, I, mean, I don't like the rain shit. You fucking want me to jump into a fucking pond? No. Yeah. Like, I know. It's... Everyone's done it so far, but some one person like dipped their foot in and then was like, I'm good. That and would they be still me. give him the rope. Yeah. <laughs> just, just sprinkle me with water a little bit. I'm good. <laughs> but, yeah. Nah, but yeah. I, I think, you know, what you're doing right now, you've been doing a lot of behind the scenes. We've seen it. It has to change. You know, for, like you said, for different generations, it, it just can't. Everything that's traditional at some point has to grow. It can't yeah, stay the same bit. way. Yeah. You can keep the the core of it, mm-hmm. but you have to like branch out and you have to grow and you have to get with the times pretty much. I think that's what where golf is right now. It's uh it's like set and it's it's its foundation is there. Mm-hmm. And I think with the times and with everything going on whether it's global events or politics or you know women's rights and all that stuff it's it's definitely evolving um but you know it like everything has its hurdles Mm -hmm. and i think it it's a matter of you know the players taking more of their initiative and and speaking i think sometimes uh we're worried about you know how it would affect us and and our livelihood and because you know a lot of us female athletes like we're the main breadwinners and you know we're Obviously, it's it's a little scary, you know, and wondering how this is going to affect your future and things like that. But as we saw with women's tennis and women's soccer, you know, it it changed to benefit their their uh, their future. So I don't know. We'll kind of I'm going to do my part and uh, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. I was going to ask you that. Like, are you scared of like the way you speak out sometimes about it and things like that? Have you Sometimes, yeah, because. You know, I I owe this tour, this sport a lot for what it's given me. But at the same time, I do have my own thoughts and, and opinions on 
where this game should go and how we could reach more people and things like that or how 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 the sport has affected me and and things like that so i feel like there there could be a balance but again it, it's having that discussion and having that courage to speak up again i'm not a person of confrontation and i like my own bubble but at the same time like enough is enough i've seen i've seen things enough to where i ha one i think i have the credibility of saying something and two i have the knowledge of of knowing what's going on because I've been here, been out here for so long. And, um, and obviously like I want the best for, you know, the next brown girl, next black girl, girl of color, even, and just any girl of having a, a greater experience than I had. Um, but yeah, the, yeah, just golf is interesting. <coughs> I was like, I'm boring you. He's yawning. No, no, He's no, 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 I'm not yawning. No, I'm coughing. I'm just playing. I was coughing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I didn't want to yeah. cough in the mic. No, you're fine. You're fine. But no, yeah. No one of the, I mean, golf is different in the fact that <coughs> the longevity of it, you can play for a long time. Yeah. But now that you're saying, you know, 32, you've been doing this for 20 something years. 32? I wish I was 32. Oh, well, you said you were 30 <laughs> earlier or you said 32? 34 this year. Okay, 34. Oh, really? Jesus Christ. Yeah, mid 40s. I mean, 40s. Hey, Jesus. Cute, cute. Mid 30s this year. Wow. Mid 30s. You're making me feel old. Yeah. Like, golf has like a long shelf where you can play, right? Yeah. Like, has it started creeping in? Like, damn, like, am I going to do this forever? What's next uh, for me? Yeah, no, it's... um. The older I get, that question is is been brought up more more consistently, like um, more on like a casual level. It's like, oh, well, how long, much longer are you gonna play? I'm like, well, I just got here. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, twelve, know, year, 12 um, years is not a lot. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely something I've I've thought about. I I knew once I turned professional that I was not gonna play into like my forties, into you know my older age um i knew my time on the tour is going to be limited um again it depends on my body and how much it's it's able to to handle again my mental health also i i don't know i i hope i don't want to end my career on a bad note whether like on an yeah. injury or i don't know some drama or whatever you want to call it um I like to end it on a high note, but you know, that's out of my control. I, I want to, I definitely want to be happy when I leave that part of my, my journey. And the next part of my journey is I believe it's still in the golf industry. I, I've loved how I loved my college experience, how my coach helped me get to where I am today. Um, all the people I was introduced to. So that's probably my next journey is being some sort of collegiate coach. My ideal place is at my alma mater, USC, Division One. But again, you have to go through hurdles and mm -hmm. things like that. And that's sort of like a mental process um, that I have to go through. And But I've expressed that to my team, whether it's my coach, my agent, and, you know, they said, whenever you're ready for that, we'll support you 100%. And, you know, luckily I've been around several coaches and I feel like I could do, I could do a good job. I want, I want to coach people the, who are hungry, um, you know, and there's obviously like politics and collegiate golf and, and all that stuff, but I really want to not be the, f the the in the front. I want to be in behind the scenes helping the younger girls achieve what they want to achieve. And um, someone said, man, you're going to make them cry. I was like, <laughs> I probably will because I know what they're, I understand where they're at and where they're going. And I just don't take a lot of shit from people anymore. Yeah. Like I will give it to you straight. I will be your biggest support system, but I will also be very real with you. So, I mean, it's just, it's a matter of time. Yeah. Well, Not just yet. <laughs> but, it, but it shows you love the game no matter what because you, was, yeah. you, you will leave it in one form, but you're going to come back to it in a different fashion. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, yeah. yeah. So, man, 
You guys have some deep questions this time. Hey, we were prepared today. Want to study word or what? <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I just asked a stupid question last time, so. No, no. I did because it's it's this will fucking posted it and it was on social media. <laughs> it's like, how do you ask a non-stupid stupid question and? I what? Asked and you still did it. <laughs> I still kidding. did it. Yeah. Oh, I told him before. Don't ask any stupid questions, too. But I don't think. I didn't. Honestly, I didn't think it but was a stupid question. question. No, no, it wasn't. I was just messing I mean, with you. I mean, being a non person that doesn't know about golf, I would have thought miniature yeah, golf it makes sense, right? Yeah. But, but, anyways, you know, You're it's like, no. it's funny because someone asked that too. How how do how should someone start their journey in golf? Yeah, that was one of the questions someone asked. Dang, you got your people ask some really good questions. Yeah, How do people deep show. start? <laughs> Shit, <laughs> wasn't ready for that. Where's the tissues? How does someone start their journey in golf? That is, everyone has their different has their different in with golf. Whether it's a, a parent that, like myself, I had a parent who worked at a golf course as a mechanic. Um, or, um, my best friend had an older brother that played golf. There's different journeys to get into the sport. It's just a matter of having that open mindedness to even try it. Or if you notice something about your child that, you know, maybe, Maybe let's give them like an individual sport or maybe they're shy or like let's give them something that isn't as traditional as maybe like soccer or, you know, all these different things. And again, that goes back to where where do you live? Do you live near a golf course? Is it public? Is it private? So there's different factors. But I think it starts with that open mindedness of playing golf or have even having it on the television and getting that vision of, oh, that seems interesting. Or, or even if you say it's boring, like, why is it boring? Or let's go try it or let's mm -hmm. go to top golf or let's go, you know, have that experience in a group or as a family. There's just, there's just different, different ways of getting into the sport, whether you're a, a grown adult or like a, or a child. So, um, I think it goes back to, yeah, that, willingness of of trying new things and um like me i wasn't really into it until i actually stepped on the golf course and thought about the challenge of putting a little white ball into a hole and then it turned into this whole fiasco so i don't know it's i don't know how to answer that question because everyone's different um i mean i would encourage everyone to at least try it just whack the shit out of the golf ball and see how far you can hit it you know you know what's gonna happen though right the, fir the first like 10 times they're gonna miss <laughs> they're gonna miss the ball for, for, yeah. I, I guarantee yeah. you'll miss yeah oh. I guarantee it i mean time. if you have really good hand-eye coordination if Ooh. you played baseball i mean you have some sort of but advantage the, no but, it, but then even that throws you off a little you, bit you approach it with lower. a baseball swing yeah, it's lower. Yeah, I could tell someone's a baseball player when they try to hit a golf ball. Really? Yeah. Mm hmm Swing a little too hard or what? Uh, oh, the hip, more hip yeah. action. And then they fall back on their back leg. Mm, and uh, and then... <laughs> you still do that? I still do that. And then it, the ball just goes to the right. My shit always goes to the fucking right. See? I can't aim for shit. I like, got I you. To, I, I got to, you, fool. I, I, have to, I have to twist like my fucking whole body over to that... <laughs> Like, and it, it still goes right. Yeah, it still goes down. It goes right down the middle and shit. I'm yeah. trying for it. It's hard, man. I think it's good. Well, I, got, I got the golf clubs downstairs. Like, I guarantee you when I hit it. Where are we going to go fucking golf? We're we'll going to fucking Azusa right now. Right fam. now. Let's go. Let's go to Arcadia Par 3. Right Fuck here. it. What is that? What? What is Arcadia? Arcadia Par 3? It's like a short, it's a short course. Mm. I yeah. think it'll do good. I guarantee you won't. It's the alcohol. I think it'll do good better than you. It's the alcohol. It's like liquid no. courage right It's the bravery. <laughs> liquid courage. I'm just kidding. I think it'll do good. Okay. I'm pretty coordinated, so. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, well, I don't Good know that was got his water. <laughs> 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 you ready to jump into the no manches? Yeah, let's go to no manches. Oh, oh, we, are, you got any good ones now? I, I got I one. I don't know if you guys were still doing it, so I'm like, We yeah. are. We are still okay, doing it. Okay, you guys can go first this time. Well, All you right. go first. I'm going to do it right now. So, Mike's a little under the weather, right? 
the fuck? So it's earlier it's today, I'm earlier today, I had to be like, hey, Fuga, give me some medicine. Right? So I stopped at, at, stopped at the store to get some. So I'm day call. And apparently you have to fucking show ID and be over the age of 18 or 21. I don't know what it was because... Under forty, what? under forty, you got to show ID. Under forty for real? for a Dayquil. Mm-hmm. So for Dayquil, and I was like, why? And she's like, because kids were buying them off the shelves and drinking them to get them to get high, to get high or drunk. And I was like, oh, like since when did this happen? But yeah, no manches. Like what the fuck? Like even for that, like it, it, it's not just kids, fool. Because I went to get it the other day. Oh, so you that's what you're drinking shit you get, after a long day of work. You drink drink fucking... <laughs> <laughs> let me drink. Let me take a shot of Dayquil. <laughs> nah, people have used that shit apparently. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? That would make. I was with my sense. son, and I went to go get fucking Dayquil, right? And you really have this thing for Dayquil, huh? When you're sick. Dayquil, fuck, but <laughs> Alka Seltzer if you're sick. Yeah. It depends on what you're sick for. That's true. Alka Seltzer is like for upset stomach. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I went with my I was with my son, and I and, and I was carded. And he was like, "Hey, can I get, can I see your D?" I was like, "The fuck!" My son's like eight years old. You right? looked at your cart, like your shopping cart, like yeah. I was like, what the fuck did I get? What did I get? But, I, but even then, I'm like. Okay, do the math. This was about eight years old. If you were fucking, if I was twelve and I had my son at twelve, I'd be twenty. That wouldn't that wouldn't work. I was like, I had to be at least fourteen. This was eight. Well, he's about to be eight. Twenty-two. What's going on right now? Why do you see numbers coming out of your out of your? <laughs> well, like, you the fucking right? man. Hey, I'm like, hey, you need anybody to calculate the win and shit? I'll give you a candy. I'm gonna have to add that. The number is no, going through. I just started getting. I'm like, first of all, I don't look that fucking young, and I'm like, why are you asking me for a fucking ID? He's like, well, anybody under forty, we got a card. I have never had but that the, experience. Just Dayquil or just any like medicine, cold any, medicine? Any medicine that's like uh, it could be Benadryl, Benadryl yeah. any any fucking oh. medicine. So I'm like fucking Little Wayne died. And I, Little Wayne fucked it up for you know, a right? <laughs> so I give him idea. I'm like, I guess I made the cut because I'm 39. Yeah, and right? you still hit him with that line. Yeah, I, still I guess I made the cut. I guess I made the cut because I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's stupid for I agree with you. No mama is why the fuck yeah, are you carding me, dog? Is... Like Yeah, so it's like yeah, it, was, it just tripped me out and that was that was the first time that's ever happened. I was like, oh shit. What if you got Benjamin? Is Biden? this is this like a nationwide thing or is this like a local thing? I don't I, that's just Well weird. it was in Redland, so it can't be oh, local. So it's like thing, I think it's yeah. Huh? Like, I think after the whole because there were people like not too long ago drinking a bunch of that shit. And like I said, Little Is Wayne. Is that sipping on some scissors song? <laughs> Little Wayne, what do you have? That codeine and oh, yeah. whatever the fuck yeah. you said. And then the whole Tide Pod shit. I'm like, fool, so. I'm sick, fool. Can I get my fucking All medicine? All that Tide Pod stuff, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. So the, 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 the Tide. Yeah, yeah, the Tide Pod shit. So it's just, it was just, it tripped me out. I was like, what? No matters. I You get carded to get fucking Dayquil. I'm like, fuck. But you gotta <sighs> remember, fool. I grew up, okay, I was a bad kid, okay? I grew up with this fool, but we didn't really kick it with the same people because I grew up with a back back kids. I used to think sniffing glue. Have you ever heard of sniffing glue? Yeah. It, it came up the other day. Somebody talking talking about sniffing glue. I thought motherfuckers would sniff glue, like actual sniff. Like <laughs> they would actually. Yeah. Sniff it. No, I didn't know what it was. Well, uh-huh. growing up, I was like twelve years old when I first ran across this. Motherfuckers would put glue in uh-huh. a bag, and it was fucking and held <gasps> the fumes. And so, but growing up, I thought fucking sniffing glue was like sniffing glue. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. And so, Inhaling. motherfuckers would do shit for. <laughs> did you do it though? That's the question. Did, I, I, never did, like, I never did. Pulling it. out the muckles off fucking still and hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why the fuck would you put glue up your fucking nose, dog? That's just gonna dry. It's man. like, uh, like, did you ever do a uh, desk cleaner or not? I never did that shit. I did. Yeah. You did? Yeah, yeah, I, I never did, did that desk shit. Desk cleaner, I did that shit. I seen mother. I went to a party once. Okay, me and my homie went to a, a party. Balloons. Balloons, right? So we, we, no, hold on. I'm up. like, I look scared right yeah, now. Yeah, she's like, what the fuck? I was like, no, no. I, I never did drugs. Okay, growing up, I used to like, I, I used to fight a lot. So okay. I, I never wanted to that be drugs. That was his drug. That oh, was my yeah? drug fighting. <laughs> I used to like fucking fighting. With the fist, nice. And um, we went to a party once in LA. It was me, my homeboy, Little Man. We used to call him Little Man because he had a fucking big head. And, and he was little. little. And he was little. And he was little. And he looked like a man, so we would call him Little Man. And it was musical. <laughs> and we went to L.A. 
And we walked into this party. I shit you not. And they were selling balloons of uh, five bucks a balloon, right? Yeah, five bucks a balloon. I shit you not. We walk into the party, and I guess everybody had most of the people had balloons. Yeah. And they they fucking inhaled it. And before you know it, ninety percent of the party was in the ground. <gasps> but but he passed out. I, was like, I know about this because I used to hit the balloon. No, I know, but but, but I'm like, what the? Yeah. What are you doing? See, no. see, he doesn't know. I was. The, he's like, I was really, I was really, I was really the bad one. In this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, so so what it was? It used to be Nas, right? So people, what they started doing? No shit, I know what it was. No, but why would you do that if it was fucking? No, like... but what happened when people started falling? That's why the whole thing that uh, that's why I was like, oh fuck that shit. Yeah, because they started using Freon. Yeah, 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 from yeah. from car the big, the big ass fucking uh, canisters. Yeah. yeah, and they would fucking do the balloons, and people were doing them, and people were falling. So Freon is from your AC from your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they replaced Nas with Freon because it was cheaper, and they were giving that shit, and people were just boom, boom, boom. I went to a party. Oh, like yeah, ninety no. percent of the party fucking fell when the DJ said, "Everybody get the balloon." <gasps> Toma, I'm like. It happened to one of our oh, friends that I can't say his name. That'd be Jack your ass right here. <laughs> After I saw one of our homies fall, I was like, mm, yeah, I ain't doing yeah, that shit. I never did that shit. So I never did that shit. But yeah. anyways, back to back dang, to the podcast. Dang, dang. Uh, wait, like, what's, I don't what? even know where to like, go from there. What the fuck? I don't even, I don't even know you guys. Who are you? Hello, it was a nice podcast. Yeah, nice seeing you guys. No, I'm just kidding. No, I never did that shit, though, by the way. <laughs> I just I witnessed it. it. <laughs> no, because like I told you, I used to love to fight. Yeah. I used to love to fight. Holy crap. But yeah, fuck Wait, that. So your no manches was the carding. Yeah, for Dayquil. The, for the Dayquil. Well, what was yours? Did you have my no much, I, haven't, I haven't said mine. Okay. Oh, you haven't? Oh, shit. I, I just felt like you just did. I was going out with yours. Oh, okay. oh. How did you get into just, balloons then? Fool, I'm going to go with Amazon, fool. I don't know why the fuck you went into drugs. <laughs> Amazon. I'm going to go with Amazon. Okay. What? Ordering clothes on Amazon. Especially shirts. Okay, what about it? Okay. Fool, they be lying. What do you mean? <laughs> they be lying. No, yeah. fool, this, re- this is what you review. Up. You gotta go re- Reviews. Yeah. Do, do the reviews. reviews. And the size chart. It says true to size. True to motherfucking size. To their size, fool. Yeah, but well, where the <laughs> fuck do they live? But this is... This where is, are they from? Fool, are they from fucking like an Asian country? <laughs> no, not, nothing against Europe. my Asian homies. They do have smaller Asian, sizes. they have smaller sizes. Fool. I ordered a 3X the other day. I was like, oh, here, because I've been working out. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing better. I'm fucking losing weight. I'm like, a 3X. I could fit in a 3X. I've been fitting in 3X uh-huh. American shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four ordered some fucking 3X shirts, and then motherfuckers were like, huh? And a I'm like, crop top? Yeah. I'm like. Summertime is here, dude. Hold on. <laughs> Amazon, what the fuck? You, it said true to size. You read the comments, fool. Yeah. Whose size? That's yeah, so right. I always read the read reviews. reviews. Yeah. Who's giving these reviews? Asian customers? No, no, no. You go to the oh. review. Go, go, go to the reviews, and people say, "Oh, they actually it's like run small." Smaller. Oh, oh. Yeah. this shit. And like the me- like the actual like size chart. Yeah. Well, fuck you, Amazon. Cause no, like, I trust you. They literally say it. Like people will comment, "Oh, this is not true to size. It's a lie." You know, like if you go to the reviews. Yeah, I know Sheen. Or fucking the quality of the shirt. Yeah. Like, if you order from Sheen, fucking, yeah, Sheen. you gotta order like fucking. If you're a two X, you gotta order like a five X. From where? From Shein? Shein. What is that? Shein. The online. You never ordered from Shein? Oh, like you got money. You, yeah, that's how you know you got money when you got fucking. I shop at Shein. What's Shein? Shein is a fucking. It's like a ghetto. It's an online uh, brand. Chinese, yeah, it's like Asian. And it's like mass production. So most of it's not like high quality, but it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. But what do they sell? Like what? Everything. Clothing, whatever you want. Yeah, but like what? Street clothing, sweaters, dresses, Like with like designs and shit or just basic? Designs. Uh, They have designs. Stylish. Because if it's all wholesale, I would imagine like it's like just plain white shirts or some shit. They have designs and all that stuff. But it's not true to size. (laughs) <laughs> Anyways, that's my no matches. Uh, Amazon. 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 Oh, I want gosh. that two fucking day prime shipping, dog. What's up? Once again, dog, you got to do or overnight. Oh, well, they got the overnight. They yeah. have overnight. Yeah. Even same day. Yeah. yeah. Depends on what you. You buy. order some fucking extra large underwear. That shit fucking fits you like it's a. You order underwear from Amazon? You don't? No. <laughs> where where, where the you fuck do you go to? Why would you Victoria's do Secret or what? And for like, I'll go in person about them. Like, why would you order them online? Dick, because it's an online shopping. Fucking what? 
You do. Oh, what's going on here? I got something. Stuck. Amazon. I look. I, I want some underwear. I'm like, I'm fucking going out this but weekend. But you can't even see them. Like, yes, you can. You can put a picture of yourself, and it tells <laughs> like, you right what? There. What? You haven't <laughs> seen that? No. <laughs> Wait. What? You put a picture of yourself? <laughs> Which picture did you choose? <laughs> it's a uh, one of us. Full fun. <laughs> It's not true to size like that, then. No wonder you're putting a picture from 1999. No, <laughs> it's not gonna be true to size. <laughs> no, but they got a thing where you like fucking. <laughs> you can put yourself in it, Mo. I'm not fucking naked. Full well, fuck. Your, I know that, but like, still, like, what? No, you could put a like a. Like you could put a, a picture of yourself and it puts a picture like a photo um the a shirt, shirt or whatever the you? fuck you're buying. I don't, I don't buy another word like that, uh, but it was, it was just a joke. Just, you, so you don't buy them on Amazon? No fool fuck. Okay. Cause I was just about to say. Like, you stupid fool. <laughs> <laughs> that was just Look really sad fucking laughing over. You guys always do this to me. I'm like I'm like Oh, my back just cracked. Hey, it's it's fixed. Yeah. In a good way or in a bad way? In a way? good way. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah, your no munches? I don't even have a no munches. Oh, man. I don't even have one. I got one for you. A ver. When Mike walks out, of your, <laughs> walks out to go to his car, but he accidentally chest open yours. <laughs> No manches. I'm trying to open my Porsche. Hey. They actually called it Porsche, which is not. I cool. know a Porsche. Porsche. Oh, I know, I know. I said Porsche, but I said Porsche. I said Porsche. Oh no, manches! You guys were drinking before I got here. Like I no know, right? Uh, well, Come you should have came in earlier. Well, I I was actually gonna wear my my Tejana boots and I couldn't find them, mm. so I just that's so why I was some. late. And then yeah, my fault. But hey. still, no manches. Hey, no manches! Can I borrow your car? <laughs> well, how is that a no matches? How is that a no matches? Yeah, no matches. Like, yeah, sure, that's true. <laughs> no matches, grab out of the car. I know, I know about that. <laughs> I'll take you out for a spin. Oh, ooh. I know. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> So no matches. We we don't have any uh, unusual dates or uh, any how guys did doing I know something. That was gonna come up. Yeah, he's the one that told me you about it too. Everyone wanted to talk about. I it. will say, I had I had an experience that I greatly appreciated. This person, oh. yeah, this person uh, paid attention to detail when Ooh. we got to the location. He had a coffee ready for me. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, How do you well, know well, you well, drink coffee? That's what, what no, kind of coffee? No, because we talked about it. Mm, okay, you know, okay. just general, like, I don't know. This person, I appreciate questions that have never been asked before, especially, mm -hmm. like, when you're trying to know somebody. So when I got to this, when I got to the museum, I've never been on a date at a museum before. Which wow. Is, museums are fun. Hey, museums are fun. They're, they're underrated. The Chicano Museum, the Chich Marin. Oh, oh, did you go to that? Oh, that's yeah. just badass. It was good. Yeah, you don't know? <laughs> no. It, 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 I spent my birthday. I spent my birthday. Settle down, guys. No, 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 bro. It was good. It, 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 bro, bro. Yeah. You gotta go. It, like, go. opened your eyes to a certain, like, yep. you know, Chicano um, activism and, and expression and things like that. So, like, your whole Chicano culture just, like, elevated. It yes, was it really, it was a really cool experience. And, um, but when I got there, um, one, he was wearing botas. He was wearing his botas. So I was Ooh. like, oh, excuse you. Oh, damn. Yeah. You like, what up in this motherfucker? <laughs> And then, too, he had, like, my coffee. He had a coffee for me, which I did not expect that. Did and he know then, you like coffee? Yes. He okay. knew my coffee order. He's Damn. like, yeah. Get some tips, yeah. bro. So um, I really appreciated that. And then, um, yeah, and then we went to a uh, – he knew I liked basketball, so we watched – he knew I liked sushi, so we went to a sushi spot after. And then we watched the Lakers because I'm a big Laker fan. Even though we lost, I know you too. So it was recent. Yeah, it was ah. recent. But anyways, and then we went to a baile y me quiero el güey. Literally, <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> backs <laughs> messed up. Backs all messed up. But yeah, it's a good time. Okay, cool. But yeah, no. So that one, there is potential for a second one. We'll see. Why oh. way? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Take some pointers, that. Yeah, Perfect. last time we we the no manches was on that. <coughs> it was no. a cheapskate. The, yes. the, the, 
<laughs> it was a two ski. That's what you said. Right? They wanted to play golf. Yeah. Yeah. But we're no. We're yeah. yeah. Every experience has been eye opening. Ah, oh, but man, I don't have a, like an actual no munches other than you guys drank before I even got here. No munches. There's no Don Julio. But actually, I'll give you props on the uh, uh, yeah. avion. That was really good. I did my due diligence. I was like, Avion or 1942. I was like, let's look. People said it was a lost mother too, so. Oh. That's why I did it. I have to run to the store and get some. Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty good. No manches getting old, dude. That sucks. <laughs> no manches. <laughs> like, it sucks. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? The segment's getting old? No. Or? I'm, I'm, getting like, old. I'm no. like, wait, wait, wait. No, you guys are not getting old. It, no. just, it just changes as you get older. So it's like. We oh can't my. recover from a hangover the yeah, same. There you go. We can't get up from the bed the same you don't way. Know. What do you mean? You I don't, don't know. know. I don't know what. You can recover. They have the hangover fucking drinks. Mm. Well, we don't need those. We didn't those need are, those, those when we were 25, 24. Yeah. But now we need those. We need to take stuff before we actually drink. You need to drink water. Um, we need to take like Advil before we go to sleep. But we're all like... Yeah, I had a drink of water before the podcast. For several, (laughs) chilling on the wall. But I did good. I wasn't too. You asked some really good questions. My what was it? My um. For the, except for that number shit, that shit was wild. Yeah. What number shit? <laughs> when were you calculating that this is 14 and then the fuck is eight? They asked you for your ideas. Like, you really Asian aliens? They talk about what's that fool? Fool Asian aliens? I'm on fucking on the History Channel. Da, ancient fuck, ancient fuck, aliens. Ancient yeah, aliens. I, see, I seen that one. What? Kalupalopolis? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is his name? Yeah. With the fucking yeah, the, the, the fair. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, all right. Hey, who built the pyramids? <laughs> You know, I don't know this is a history class. Uh, was, yeah, turn it Who built the pyramids? In, in, where? In Anywhere. Egypt. <laughs> Egyptians? Fool, there's fucking pyramids in Egypt. There's pyramids in Mexico. Mayans. The Mayans? Like, that show's pretty dope, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're going to make me look stupid right now. Aliens built the fucking pyramids. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe yeah. in aliens? I do. I do believe in aliens. Look at the shit across your chest. What do you have? What is that? This? It's an alien device. <laughs> it is, actually. Is it really? Yeah, you can look at the sun directly with this over your eye. Shut up. Yeah. But I'm stupid, huh? Thank you. <laughs> no, First of all, the, I never said that. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> what? What is <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> <why>. <laughs> He said that. No, so this has nothing to do with aliens. It has to do with our Earth. With the sun. Yeah, so it's obsidian, so it's a rock mm-hmm. that just has that capability to be able to see the sun. And where did you get it from? In Mexico City. Aliens. Oh, no, you. I got it in Mexico City, not from aliens. aliens. Did you go to Xochimilco when you I went? Did. Oh, I did. And Xochimilco was built well, by I went, aliens. I was actually in Mexico. I was in Mexico like uh, six months ago to the city, and I did Xochimilco, mm. the pyramids. But this last time, uh, we went to Tasco. Guerrero. Okay. But we went to Mexico City for a day and like we did the whole hot air balloon thing. Oh, that's so, so fun. I, at the yeah. pyramid. So uh-huh. I picked this up. So it supposedly keeps the haters away. It's been working because Mike hasn't been bugging me as much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just joking. Uh, <laughs> nah, because we've been we, we've funny. been getting hate lately, so what? keep all the haters out. Yeah, on our, who? On our podcast, uh, shit that we've been. I know. Come on. That's cool. That's how you know. <laughs> That's cool. It's okay. It's all good. <laughs> but but you know what? You know what I've heard is that you've made it when you have haters. That's when you know you've made it is when you have haters. Because the la envidia, the uh, whatever, jealousy, or they're just insecure or whatever. And so, like, I don't know. Yeah. Don't even worry but, about it. But you know it. what? We, we've talked a lot about uh, the uh, haters in the last couple of podcasts. But we also haven't talked about the good people. A lot of people have been very supportive. That, that have been yeah. supportive. And <clears throat> people that want to collaborate with us or even just come on the podcast. So, thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening. And uh, honestly, we're going to finish out with your words of wisdom because you, I, know, I don't know if they've changed. Dang. But you have to say something because we always finish it off with that. Words mm. of wisdom. It's okay to put yourself first. I feel like whether you're a parent or, you know, you're so involved in your job and you want to give back to others it's important to sometimes it's okay to put yourself first 
And I think, I think we even talked about the last episode about guilt. Um, you know, that's normal, but it's okay to put yourself first because if you don't, if you're not 100% yourself, how can you give 100% to the rest of the people you love, whether it's your family, your, your peers, your team. Um, so sometimes it is okay to, to pull back and say, I want to work on me. I want to put myself first in my peace of mind. And that way I can be a hundred percent for you. Um, so I've in the last year or so, ever since I've been on this podcast and that's something I focus on, if I don't feel right, it's okay to say, put up those boundaries to like, no, I want to work on myself and, and it's okay to put yourself first. Cool. Yeah. We have to. Today. Yeah. We have to. We have I, to. I think like we've talked about this a lot now, but like just everybody's, it always comes down to the same things. Yeah. Like self-realization and taking care of ourselves first before mm -hmm. you want to take care of other people. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you thank again you for coming, coming on on Sunday. Are we going to finish with a shot or no? We can. <laughs> yeah, we think we can. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the live again, Doug. We'll go yeah, live we'll go again. Live. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do live again. Yeah, no, I really thank you guys for having me on. And, you know, the the variety of people you guys have had on your podcast is just uh, a representation, a testimony of what you guys are all about and giving back to our community as Chicanos, Latinos. And, and uh, you know, it's really cool what you guys are doing. And I'm glad you guys brought me back for round two. Yeah, so thank, thank you. you. I'm about to make you cry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, no, 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 Thank you. We appreciate um, that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really cool to just like wind down and, and to really, again, express who we are outside of our profession and really give our opinions on what we believe. And again, coming together as a community of not just Latinos or SGV, but you know, just it's, it's a, bigger community than that yeah. and i think you guys want to capture it and i think it's really great and you know i'm just i'm just glad you guys are doing this out of you know your passion and your determination to to get your word out or to get their stories out so i you know commend you guys for doing that thank you thank you yeah. that means a lot you know just yeah. coming from two random guys yeah. Yeah. who hit me we, up on instagram yeah, you want we, on podcast? Sure. yeah. <laughs> we, we never imagined you know being able to get like the support, the people we've had on, and just the conversations we've had, and not even that, just the, the people that on Instagram or even other platforms that that like our shit or that mm -hmm. take the time to view our shit. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty dope, you know. It's good stuff. Like like I tell them, sometimes we get like these random like DMs and stuff, and man, it just like it's like down. Thank you for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's those DMs that just keep you just pushing forward. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah, we appreciate that. We appreciate you. Keep doing your thing, you know. We're gonna Thank keep you. watching. We're gonna keep supporting. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. Everybody, peace out. Jump onto the well. The life's gonna be over. Never mind. It's not gonna be when this episode comes out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>